Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Around the Table GTA. This episode was actually inspired a couple of weeks ago, and then after, I've just been getting more and more signs to actually do this episode, so now we're here. <laughs> Anyways, this episode is going to be similar to some of my older episodes, but this episode is going to be about, how many times am I going to say this episode? But anyways, it's going to be about foundations. And the reason why I'm talking about foundations in this time is just that um, I'd say this year I've given a lot of advice and I tend to give advice, but the same kind of issues people were bringing up and I think it's really important to figure out what foundations that we have to help support ourselves if you do tune into social media or the news or any kind of workplace dynamic coming from HR you're going to hear a lot of stuff talking about mental health and everything but we all know that a lot of companies and even people sometimes will promote something but when it's time for you to need the help or get the support everybody kind of backs away so it's really important to make sure that you set up your foundations right funny enough um i went to church with my dad recently and the pastor was also talking about foundations so it's just a sign for me to talk about foundations and let you guys know that no matter what you do in life, you do have some type of foundation. And if you don't have foundations, you need to build foundations to stabilize wherever you want to go. It's funny because at work yesterday, I was talking to some team members and they're like, oh, wow, you know, I'm thinking about all the leadership that was at this place. And I could only remember a handful that have stayed. And they were talking about me as well as staying because it's a stressful job, right? And how do you deal with stress? How do you deal with bad times? How do you deal with things when it seems like everything's falling apart? And the best way to deal with it is having a solid foundation. If you see a lot of motivational stuff, I've seen a trend recently. It talks about these are the five friends that you need or you shouldn't talk to these people if, right? They do have some merit, but when it comes down to everything, it's just about the foundations that you build. What type of person are you when you're upset? Can you handle it? Can you crawl out of a hole if you fall into it? This is a metaphorical hole. If you're spiraling into depressive thoughts and you don't know what to do, what do you do? What is your backup? You know, a lot of people are running away from, I would say, traditional values in the sense that, you know, people advise that you should have friends that are higher than you, right? Or, you know, they're richer than you or they're more successful than you, right? But if everybody had that mindset, how would we help someone who's beneath us? You could never hang out with someone beneath you if everyone had that mind frame, right? It doesn't make sense. And people are always reaching out for the best. But what makes you content? What keeps you grounded? What helps you be you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? It's just, uh, it's, it's strange when you listen to a lot of people talk. And it's just like, what are you really talking about? How... Does that really make sense? It sounds good on paper, but how does that help you, right? Um, just going back to foundations, I'm just going to start talking about friends. You know, one foundation you should have is friendship. You know, if you don't have friends, um, make some friends or at least find some people that do things that you do and maybe you'll become a friendship. I know it's really hard saying that as an adult too, it's really hard. Um, there's this one page that I follow that uh, talks about making real plans. Everyone wants to meet people who wants to make real plans, but everyone kind of falls into their own habits. But going back to what I was saying, 
you know, one foundation is friends. You need friends that can keep you accountable. I always talk about the table because the table is the gang. The table is the squad. The table is the boys, right? My One of my foundations is a table because I know that it doesn't matter what spectrum I'm dealing with, whether it's extreme happiness or extreme sadness, even anger or discontent, my circle of friends could support me in different parts. And obviously not all of your friends can help you with everything. You know, some people have party friends. Some people have, um, I heard a term like covenant friends. So like friends that you've been friends with forever. Some people have friends that they only do A, B, and C with. And there's nothing wrong with friendships like that. Uh, I was talking to one of my friends and we were talking to another friend that we're mutual friends with. And they said something along the lines where it's like, oh, I understand that our friendship is only when you need help. So um, I'm not offended that you just come to me for help. And that person got a little bit offended about this comment, right? And then my friend was like, well, it's true, whether you feel bad about it or not, look at all the times that you've talked to me, like the last five times that you've talked to me, it's only because you needed help, right? Sometimes we need to understand that uh, certain foundations, certain friends, certain colleagues, certain relationships are flimsy. They're not solid. They're not things that you could stand upon, right? So uh, for me, I know if I had to call a friend, let, let's say like, you know, those weird scenarios that people say, hey, well, what would you do if, right? So like, if I was like uh, kidnapped and I had to call someone and if they picked up, I'd die, right? I know four people that I could call that they never pick up my phone call, right? So I know that I wouldn't die. Or like, I know people that, let's say same scenario, but they have to pick up the phone after one ring. I know a handful of people that if I call them right now, like if I just pause the podcast episode, I called them within a ring, they'd pick up and be like, Hey, how's it going? You know, you need to know your friends. You need to know your relationships with others to know how strong your foundation is, right? Sometimes people have friends that always want to have a fun time. You could call them up and be like, Hey, let's go out. Let's go party. Uh, I got concert tickets. You want to go right now? And they're down 1000% of the time. That's a foundation of joy. (laughs) I would say it's a foundation of joy because you know, that person's always down to do something. They're never going to be like, Oh, you know, I'm dealing with something or, Oh, I'm with my boyfriend or I'm with my girlfriend. Oh, sorry. Oh, the kids or, Hey, I have work or, you know, I don't have money right now. Stuff like that. You need your foundations and you need to know how they work. Building foundations takes time, right? Sometimes you click with people, right? And it does feel good, but you need to know where that person is in the hierarchy of foundations or even support, right? Um, You know, some people get sad. I think we all get sad every once in a while, but who can you turn to if you're sad, right? Who can deal with you when you're really upset? Who can deal with you when you're overly happy who could deal with you when you're just being generally annoying those are all things that you should consider especially if you're having like a turning point in your life or even if you know that you might be doing something that might not be right and you need someone who could help you stand on this a decision that is going to make your life better not worse The foundations in our life don't necessarily um, make us who we are in a sense. What I mean by that is that someone could try to judge you by the people that you talk to, right? Some people look great on the outside, but they're horrible people on the inside, right? They might look scary on the outside, but they're generally nice people. I have a friend who's into death metal and a lot of like dark sounding metal but he's one of the nicest people that I know, right? But if you hear his music, especially with certain people, whether they have uh, uh, 
one sense of style for music or if they're ultra conservative or they're they claim to be born again and they say oh that's devil music this person has a heart of gold <laughs> you know but you're judging them because of what they listen to or their outwardly look you need to have foundations that you know that you could trust in right just like you wouldn't build a house made of sticks like the pigs did you want something that's concrete something that could withstand the different versions of you it's the same thing when you're looking into a partner right nobody's going to be perfect there's always going to be a flaw but you need to find someone who can handle you at your best and handle you when you're not so good too it's that good balance and that's what we need in our foundations we need something that is solid we need something that is reliable and we also need something that we know that ultimately it's something that's good for us especially if you're living in north america it's funny because um i was talking with my dad and he was talking about how um a lot of students from where he's from have come over to north america they did not like the lifestyle and they went back because they had options we always have to remember that whatever we're doing we have options and even when we're pursuing something sometimes we're going to need to rely on the foundations that we have or had to push and persevere through whatever challenges that we have if you don't have a solid foundation it's very easy to backslide. It's very easy to change your mind. It's just like my episode on waking up at 5 a.m., right? If you don't have the foundation to wake up at 5 a.m., if you don't have that motivation, that drive, um, that go-getter attitude to pursue that, it's going to be easy to fall into my other episode, why you shouldn't wake up at 5 a.m., because all that effort that you put into falls back on you and then you have to pick up the pieces and get back to where you are and that could take some time as well so when you're making a decision go back and think do i have the foundations to support this it's funny that someone was talking with me it's like hey you know why aren't you driving and i went back to uploading some spotify episodes so if you're a spotify listener uh, most of season two will be up hopefully by this weekend if you're watching this pretty live um i'll have most of season two up maybe even season three up on spotify because i'm putting in the foundations to make sure that i'm supporting all the people that are listening to the podcast i want more people to hear the message i want more people to kind of change their mindset so that they feel better about life because life is pretty crazy <laughs> you know and just like how i said with my dad knowing the students or knowing people coming from another country over to north america and being like oh i really don't like it here <laughs> you know and then they go back it's the same thing some people don't like it here you could go somewhere else right you just need to do the research and have things to support you so that if it doesn't work it doesn't work but going back to the car, right? Like I could get a car right now. And in a old, <laughs> like two seasons ago, I was talking about getting a car, which is hilarious because I still have everything set up for it. I just need to purchase the car, right? And the funny thing too is that two years ago, gas was expensive. Um, cars were at a decent price, but now if I bought the car two years ago, it would have been a lot better than now because number one, to get a new car, at this time it is costly number two it takes about six months there's someone that i know that got into a car accident and they have to take a bus like a very grown person they need to take a bus to work and they need to wait like three months to get a brand new car it's crazy out here right so sometimes when you are trying to make a decision you need to strike it when the iron is hot right that term is to make sure that it's good because if you don't strike it when the iron's hot you're probably not going to get the results that you want so 
even with all my ravelings, we need to get back to the core, which is also a foundation. <laughs> what do we do with our foundations, right? We need to test our foundations. We need to check our foundations. We need to see if it's a reliable foundation. I think it's only when we're in times of crisis or when we're having a hard time with certain things that we kind of overshare and it can cause a rift in relationships, right? But it's also testing a foundation. Oh, I thought you could help me out or, oh, that's how you really are. These are the things that we realize when we don't really get to know people. You need to know who you're hanging out with. You need to know the people that you're dealing with. And you need to know if they are reliable in that aspect of life that you're trying to pursue, right? Um, I <laughs> saw a Facebook memory because I jumped onto Facebook for whatever reason a couple of days ago. And there was this question where I posted to just to see what other people would say. And it was like, um, if you proposed to your girlfriend and she said no, would that be the end of the relationship? All right. And there was a lot of back and forth. A lot of people sided one way and some people sided the other way. And it's really interesting, just that question in itself, because I had an answer where someone was like, you should know if your partner is ready for that commitment. And back then I was just kind of like, huh? All right. But now I'm kind of siding with that person. But at the same time, it's still strange to me, especially like if you've been with someone for X amount of time, you, sh you should know if they're interested in that way. But I would still look at it at the same time. If you're with someone that long, why wouldn't you want to marry them? Right. But that's <laughs> a whole discussion in itself because, you know, everybody has their own time and pacing. You know, some people aren't really in love. Some people are homosexuals. They need somewhere to stay. Right. It's, I told my friend that term and they were, they were dying. They never heard a ho about a homosexual. If you don't know what a homosexual is, a homosexual is a person who doesn't have a place to live. So they'll get into a relationship so that they have somewhere to live, but they don't really like you. They just need a place to stay. So watch out for the homosexuals, especially during cuffing season, especially this time of year, too, because, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, they're getting food, they're getting shelter. They need to go get a job and make sure that they could have somewhere to live or, you know, build foundations where, hey, if you're in a bind, if you're in a situation, you could go somewhere to stay, not ruin people's love lives because you need a bed. right? <laughs> but that's another thing in itself. Um, going back to the topic foundations, we all need foundations in our life. We need to build them, whether it's taking more time to spend with friends or family, um, getting to know people on a deeper level so that you could trust them with more things, doing what's necessary to make sure that the people that you are around are actually there for you. Is there someone that if you needed let's say like $500, can they give you $500 and will they trust you to give it back instead of you going to like a loan shark? Is there someone that you could tell good news and they won't get jealous? You know, is there someone who you could tell them something dark, very dark, and they will still treat you like you're the best person that they ever met, all right? You have to have foundations for all of your emotions, but you also need to know that certain people see you in a certain light and it's hard for them to imagine you any other way. So you need to know what other people could handle and you need to know what you can handle. There's a lot that we can do by ourselves, but ultimately, we're not meant to be alone. We should have partners. We should have 
friendships. We should have groups. That's how society was formed. The outcasts never lived too long. And if they did, they created their own group. So what are you doing today to help build your foundation? That's the question of the day. Anyways, hopefully you guys like this episode. Finally, I have a little bit more of a long form episode. You know, you guys really don't really tune into these longer ones often. So I try not to do them too often. And then sometimes I just lose my train of thought or I'm not in it. But when I am in it, you know, it's 20 minutes, it's 30 minutes, it's 40 minutes. Uh, We should be getting a guest episode soon. Um, Just waiting for that time. And there might be some delays. That's why I'm doing the Spotify episodes upload because I'm going on vacation. I'm trying to enjoy myself. I'm trying to build a foundation for my future, whether it's one year, two year, three years, five years. Um, There's a lot of things that I'm happy about in life right now. But at the same time, there's things that I want to change, not desperately want to change, but I'm at that point where I need, I know that I need to change or I need to change it and I need to take some time to stop and figure out how I'm going to change it and better my life. So these are things that we need to do as well if we are working on our foundations, because let's say you don't take the time to fix a problem and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, kind of like some tea that I might share or I may make a I've said this before but I'll make like under the table eventually and that will be stuff with like messy stuff or (laughs) dark advice but we'll we'll get there when we get there anyways um just going back to the point I know the episode is supposed to like end like two minutes ago but whatever we're still here listen (laughs) yeah we need to check our foundations because if we don't take the time to do those things we could get overwhelmed and we could destroy everything that we built you might have like a mental breakdown or you might have a heart attack or something even worse because you're you have too much things built up pent up and you're not fixing it and with that stress yeah you think you could handle it but you're imploding inside your body could only deal with so much stress and It's just like what I said, you know, you might look good on the outside, but inside it's not doing so well. So take care of yourself, build your foundations, check your foundations and do what you need to do to get to that next point of life. And if you're fine where you are, that's great. I'm happy for you. Do what you can to sustain that. All right. Anyways, hopefully you guys like this episode. I'll catch you guys next time.